this is Liz with Crafty Devotion and today I have a haul share of goodies. I purchased these on my vacation. You don't go there to find like the least expensive prices for things. I mean it is a, a little upscale area but you do go there to find the best quality items vintage items she has had her store for many many years i i talk ex extensively with lena and her daughter the other thing she does have are that i did purchase myself is i purchased two grab bags she has some of the same items in her grab bags and they are only like eight dollars each and they she puts them in color coordination and so she just puts several things in there and then she charges eight dollars a bag and i chose two okay these are the more rosy colored items and a little tiny strip of the most beautiful lace it's like a running it's a sheer organza background and see her items are vintage you're not going to find her items everywhere they might you might find them maybe reproduced or something similar she's she's bought out companies bef that have quality items she even has some gold fabric in her store it was so beautiful i i just saw it up above and i said whoa that's beautiful and she told me you know what that's real gold she has silk items vintage velvet items i mean she's loaded with things and this is what i've got in my package so there's one item two and let's do the rest I have a little piece of a vintage, um, looks like a vintage ribbon. Oh, look at, oh, I hadn't opened this yet. Look how pretty that is. It feels, oh, it's possible that it's silk. Quite possible. I don't know what it is, but it seems like it's, um, let me see. Oh, it's almost a yard. And then here's another piece. Wow. Um, so that's close to almost two yards of this. I mean, this is something, <clears throat> it looks silk to me, but I don't know if it is. It feels very sheer. Oh, I'm going to make, that's beautiful. I like it. Okay, this one right here, this applique, it just has a very little bit of um, beading right there. And it's about five and a half inches long. This little tiny piece of lace is almost six inches long. And then here's another little itty bitty piece. Now this is very delicate and there are actually little pearls in amongst those little flowers. So this would be pretty to make a very unique item that I wouldn't be able to repeat, right? And it is about eight inches. And here's another piece of that same um, applique I showed you earlier. It's a thinner piece and it is about a little over seven inches. Oh, look how pretty this this is just a little small applique and it had it looks like it was probably um, attached to a piece of sheer fabric kind of like a not quite organza more like a chiffon fabric and it is about one and a half inches so she places a s several oh man <laughs> I love this one look at this a beautiful applique it has like very very pastel light rosy glass beads running around it you know what this are either they're like a between a like a, a very light green or blue um, but they're beautiful and then look at the details of these little tiny um, pearls and then these right here and long here every single part of it are little pink small seed beads that are clear and then this looks like if I want I could take this part off and have a duo and look how cute let me see how it's about three and a half inches um, here's another this is just a little teeny teeny piece of an applique look how pretty that is look at that so if you want to find very unique items this one's two and a half inches you can head over to um, find her on eBay and you'll find the information on the card that I'm gonna place this one is beautiful it's, it's similar to um, I don't know it's not it's actually very unique 
and it has so this is definitely everything I have here I'll count them all when I'm done so I can show you that it's actually a bargain um, to get a grab bag <clears throat> and then this one is so cute this has man this is so pretty it's really tiny but you could probably use either side if you like but it has like this is just a little um, ribbon and then it has this beautiful little crystal in there and that oh no it's not it's a piece of sequence it's like a sh cupped shaped sequence that's what it is it is lovely let me tell you the size of that one that's about two inches and then she threw in this little piece and this would be a, a vintage piece and the last thing and this is actually the reason why I got it because it had this beautiful beautiful I could see this look how beautiful it's a sheer like organza fabric and I actually gonna have to be careful because I would want to keep as much of this as I want can because it's so beautiful and it has these roses running through it and this one actually is the longest piece and let me sh let's count how many of the roses it has one two three four five eight nine of the big ones and then the little ones one two but it looks like it's it's actually a finished item and it has the most delicate edging on it with the like a rosy pink color and this fabric is almost like a it looks almost like a goldish yellow or or maybe ivory it is lovely let me let's see how long this entire piece is i'm going to count from the from the fabric over here that's 12 inches Let's see the entire thing inches and it's very very delicate and wow um, it's gonna be hard for me to use it on cut it up but it's probably what I will do unless I find something that I really really want to use it for so that's the example of a the pink and I'm going to count the pieces this is one two I'm going to count this as two as two because there's two pieces two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13 items for about $8. So when you really think about it, that is a great deal for these quality, quality items. I plan to purchase more from her because these are quality. So this one's very different looking. So, but she groups colors together, colors of items. A strip of the, um, like the trim. And I'm, I know that I haven't, I used to be able to find this locally and I haven't found it recently except for online. And I just do love this. And it is all, let's see, about nine inches of this. And then this, I, I got it for this because I loved the way this looked. It will make the most shabbiest, beautiful flowers. The feeling of this trim it's a quality fabric. It feels satiny. And then it has these little, so I'm not exactly sure what it's made of. I should have probably taken the time to find it so I could know what it was made out of, but I didn't and I wanted a piece of it. And I said, Oop, I found it in the grab bag. So I grabbed this. That's why I grabbed this bag. And it, this trim is, oh, about 12 inch a piece of this beautiful trim is in the, in the kit. Um, oh, here, this is something I left over there. And this is a, a, a beautiful um, wired ribbon with dots on it. And it has 17 inches of this cute ribbon. with It's wired. And then here's an applique. So if I'm going to go fall colors, which I am going to be doing a fall wreath. Um, um, I'm going to do a fall mini wreath. My rose rosy wreath just sold. Um, the mini one. So I'm going to do a um, fall one. And um, I may just, you may just see this on my wreath. It's beautiful. It's quality stuff. And um, these are glass. Wait, wait, let me see. Yeah, I think they're actually might be glass. About three and a quarter. 
and let's see then we have this which is similar to the other color that I had but it's a it's like this beautiful maybe taupe color and that one is about three and a half or three and a quarter and hair is an adorable one see these are vintage and I could see I can visually see the difference in the quality of this and some of the some other items I I might have it's just quality it has beautiful this these sequins look like they're pearlized sequins and then these little glass beads all streamed around it so there you go and this one is quite unusual it is um an applique with i think they're plastic i think they are i think they're like an acrylic but they look like real stones and they have some weight to them so if it has weight to it, I'm thinking that maybe, maybe there, there's some of these beads are actually um, glass, um, but it's all over it. And the piece is, let's see, four inches by, come on down, about four and a half inches, so about four inches by four and a half inches. And it feels a little heavy, not but not too heavy. So it looks like a high quality um, bead. Then they have an she has another bead in here, very different. This looks like a piece of a like an acrylic piece that is just so unique. And maybe you'll see in the future how I use these items in my things. And you will have to be careful if you purchase something like this. You can see it's probably all hand stitched on there. And it's each stone, it kind of goes all the way through. So if you would cut this up, it might be, um, it might unravel, and then you might just have separate beads very, you know, of this. But this is a totally different style design. And then here we go. Look at how pretty these are. It's just a teeny tiny strip. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. It's again that sheer kind of a trim. And you can take this off individually. I'm going to have to use, I think these would be beautiful to use in a, maybe a necklace or something. Maybe I can make a crochet necklace or lace. Let's see how large that is. That is um, about four and a half inches and it has, let's see how big the flower is itself. It's about one and a quarter. That, that flower there is about one and a quarter. Beautiful, beautiful. And then there's another, just this sheer fabric it's like an applique and it looks like it's all um embroidery it, i'm sure it's machine i think it's machine made not um not hand embroidery um let's see but parts of it have little swirls and it has little squares so i could probably use each square to embellish something in a very um beautiful style she actually also just uses her bags and she you could you can make like how many cards could you make with something this beautiful you can use it for card making if you make cards or um, anything you like it's beautiful now this one is the only one that's kind of a bit interesting but I would probably use this as a background and then highlight these little crystals and um, beads that are on it so it looks very different but it's it's beautiful this would be beautiful to place as the background of a card and then place something on top of it. Or you can use it in, I, I'm sure that I'll find ways to use all of these things. So let me count these items for you. Oh, we gotta measure this one. This one is about 11 inches by about, let's do the longest part, almost like four and a half inches. Let's count those, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this cost me eight dollars and there's eleven pieces in it. I think that it's actually a value, great value for her little grab bags. Then the other thing I did purchase which I have a limited supply of. This is just the most beautiful vintage rickrack, but beautiful. It's It just has this like delicate aged color 
and it's just lovely. I, I love it. I'm, I haven't used it yet because I'm so busy with all the things that I'm doing. This is Liz with Crafted Devotion. I'll talk to you next time.